Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist. In this video, I'm going to show you some ways that you can utilize free flash tools with your smart board. Now, if you're familiar with your smart board, you know that there's a lot of built-in flash items that are in the gallery. But there's also a whole bunch on the internet that are just waiting for you to come and use with your students. They work fabulous with the smart board. They're interactive, and kids love them. Here are three websites that I particularly like that have some great flash type activities and tools. The first one is www.smart-education.org. Now this particular site, you will need to create an account before you're allowed to download their activities. Let's go there right now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the website. Again, you'll need to go ahead and create an account first. And where you need to go is you're going to should decide if you're early years, primary, or secondary. I'm going to just go ahead and click primary for now because I have a primary teacher background. That's what I'm most familiar with. And I'm going to scroll down. And there's all sorts of things here, but one of them is called downloads. That's where I'm going to go, to the download section. And then I need to click downloads one more time. There's a lot of useful things here that I think you'll really enjoy. Um, most of them, I would say, are math related, but they're really awesome. So they have things on coordinates, counting on, data, uh, decimal number lines. These are all in ABC order. And um, one that I particularly like, actually there's a few that I really use quite often, um, is the function machine. So I'm going to click on the function machine. And then, now notice, it is actually an executable file, which means it's kind of like a program. You can save this program on your computer, and then you don't have to go to the internet anymore to run it. Okay, so it's, um, if you save, you can just save it to your computer wherever you'd like, and it'll download it, and the, none of these take very long at all. They're very quick, very fast. And then anytime you want to run it, you just click run, run again, be agreeable, and voila. That's how fast it is to use those type of files. Now here's this function machine, really neat. You can pick any of these that you like. Let's just go ahead and do something very simple. I'm going to add a single digit number. Now here we go. I have to decide what number I want to input. I think I'll input 7. We're going to activate the function machine, and the output is 10. So what you can have kids get, try to guess, is what function was created to get from 7 to 10? And you can have them guess. Let's say they say add 3. Well, let's test it out. Let's put 10 in here, and if their guess is correct, that should be 13. Ah, it is. So you can click Reveal Program. If you want to go back and select something else, you sure can. Anytime you want to clear out anything, you can hit clear or you can hit exit. Pretty nifty, huh? Again, if I ever want to run that program again, I saved it on my desktop. There it is. I just click on it, click run again, and there it is. Okay, so it's not exactly like an interactive website. However, it does basically the same thing. So please take time to explore the smart-education.org site. I think you'll really like it. Now, here's another one that is really good for primary teachers. This is kind of a long URL, so I'll read it to you. I'll try to go slow. www.primaryresources.co.uk forward slash online forward slash online underscore downloads dot htm. This one has some great activities for young kids. Let's take a look at what it has to offer. They all run about in the same way as the other, except this one you don't have to create an account in order to use. Okay, so here we have the downloads. And there are several to choose from. Let's give it just a second so they can come rolling in here and 
Um, they have stuff for really young students all the way up through maybe fifth grade or so. Uh, here's one of my favorites for practicing math facts. It's called Moon Maths. Again, it's the same idea. I can save it to my computer if I'd like, or I can just click Run. And voila, there's the activity. We're going to practice our multiplication facts. Let's do times 3. So here's the fact up here, and you have to click it before the little alien goes back in the hole. You have to click it, and then you have to click the bar to get your next problem. So it's a lot of fun on the smart board. Kids really enjoy it. So again, check out the primary resources website. I think you'll really like it. Or you can just try to Google it instead of typing in that long URL. Now, the last one I'd like to show you is there are three applications from um, smart technologies that they have that are really um, very nice to use with a smart board and work really well. And those, um, you can go to their website. It's just education.smarttech.com. We're going to click on Educator Resources. And from Educator Resources, we're going to come over here under the Lesson Resource active, uh, re lesson resource category and click Other Applications Available. Once I go there, I have three separate software pieces that I could choose from. One is great for um, music teachers and students who are in music classes because you can use it to uh, print it staffs and notes and play your compositions. It's really a great one. Also, there's a speller software. You can have kids practice their spelling. Um, this is good for young students because it has um, pictures as well as letters that go with it. And then we have a number cruncher software to help them solve numbers. Again, those are downloadable software, free, and work excellent on the smart board. So I highly recommend that you take some time Check out these websites, practice with some of those activities, and I hope you really enjoy them. Thanks for watching.